Welcome everybody. In this video series I'm going to show how to properly make a texture. Specifically for WWE 2K16 and this will also help you with 2K17. So let's go ahead and get started here. So here's our template right here. Um, this was created by, honestly I don't know, thank you whoever created this. Um, it's fairly simple. It This template is pretty much just to show you where you want to put someone's face. But right here we have uh, Ron Perlman. Um, you know him from Hellboy, um, Sons of Anarchy, those type of movies. Well, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to make a texture. You want to make sure that you get like the lasso tool. And you want to make sure that you go around. Obviously you can see right here I'm going towards the chin. You just want to click it. It's like little, if you're playing 2K, it's kind of like that. Um, you just got to make sure you click it with the left mouse. Let's see. And you just pretty much go up. You can do this really fast as well. You make the face right here. Now I'm going to go ahead and drag it over to the template. And see right here, I'm going to line it up. Obviously, it's not 100%. It's too big. So I'm going to go to the opacity, and I'm going to turn it down. And right here, we're going to go ahead and bring it down a little bit. We're going to try to line it up as well as we can. Um, that way, in the game, it will look uh, like the morphing and everything will look great. And it will be easier for us to import the face in the game as well. So there we go. Um, Still adjusting some things here. It's not going to be perfect because obviously people have bigger noses, and obviously Ron Perlman is, you know, looks like a freak. No offense, but he's just, he's a beast. But there we go. That's about as good as it's going to get. So um, the very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and erase the parts of the hair and the dark edges that we don't need. We don't want those to pop up in the game. We want it to look like he was scanned you know in the game so what I'm gonna go ahead and do is just go around here you obviously see the chin getting rid of some parts that we don't need um, we don't need all of the extra you know facial hair there at the bottom you see right here we're going through and you wanna make sure that there's no sharp edges to the texture either you wanna make sure that it's a hundred percent legit like you wanna make sure that it's soft, um, that the texture isn't, number one, you got to make sure that the picture isn't blurry. If you have a blurry picture and not enough detail in your picture, you're not going to end up with a good result. You just won't. At the end of the day, it's going to look terrible, which is, if you watch people's streams, you're going to be noticing a lot of terrible creator wrestlers. You just, you will. Um, the faces will be gray and the body will be, you know, tan. <laughs> and you don't want that. So what I'm doing right here is I'm gonna go ahead and copy that color right there. Just watch everything that I'm doing. Right there you'd have to hold alt and click down with the left part of the mouse there. Um, and right here what I did was I went ahead and made uh, Ron Perlman's face the opacity I put it all the way down that way I could see the background which is the template and I colored on the template that way whenever I erase uh, any of the spots like right here you see by the eyebrow and up um, that way the background which is a template doesn't overlap into the texture so right here you can kinda see some dark spots here um, trying to see what I'm doing here all right. It's already starting to look good because of the color of the template, and you can always change the color of the template by going to image um, adjustments and just you know making it tan, making it whatever you have to do. It doesn't have to be a hundred percent just because I mean in the game you can crop it, but yeah. So right here I'm just blending in that that skin color with the texture, um, and I made a new layer. You just go to layer new. And make sure it's, yeah, you want to make sure that it is above layer one. 
and right now what I did was I colored it in and I'm changing the opacity that way it blends in more um, also I will say this don't worry about you know the quality because obviously Ron Perlman has a lot of um, age marks so uh, we're gonna get into that after I'm gonna show you what you have to do to make a good texture and a lot of people don't do it um, but I'll get to that as soon as we're done right now I'm just blending it in as you can see right there I just keep taking different colors and just adding to it now I'm adding a new layer I'm trying to figure out what I was doing when I was doing this oh, okay now I'm trying to blend in the cheeks uh, with the skin color um, it's fairly simple once you do this once you do a thousand textures like I have um, then it just becomes like riding a bike you know and it's a lot of feeling out the process and uh, feeling out different things in order to make a good texture but right here obviously you can see I just blended in that the skin on the side and now I'm trying to make those cheese look good look I'm bringing down the opacity that way it can kinda blend a little bit and I don't want it blended a hundred percent obviously or it's gonna look terrible so I want to have a little bit of age marks and lines and I want that so I can build on to those those um, age lines and I will say be careful whenever you do the forehead as far as designs and everything goes because the forehead is actually one of the main um, one of the main parts and um, whenever you're adding a face picture to your call or create a wrestler whatever you want to say it stands out more so marks you know face paint or anything in the forehead it always shows more it's more visible than the other part of the face so right here <clears throat> I'm going to zoom in, and I believe this is when I start making um, age lines. Just did a new layer, and what you do is you want to bring down, you see right here, like I'm tracing the age lines. It's not 100%, but you get the point. You zoom in, and you try to make those age lines what they were before. And I know this is going to look funky to a lot of people, I realize that, but in the game, it doesn't capture the age lines 100% with face pictures. I mean, obviously you could tell there's some people that, you know, you import in the game and say it could be a grandpa and you don't even get to see all of the age marks. So, um, but yeah, that's what I'm doing. As you can tell, I'm just adding more age, the age lines, make them more um, visible here. And obviously, like I said, be careful with the forehead one. Try to do that separate unless you're doing what I'm doing with the nose. Um, you can add it. It's okay. Just make sure you don't go too crazy with the forehead. The reason why I added the age lines made them a little bit more darker is just because um, he's got, like I said, he's got very visible age lines. And in the game, it wouldn't pick up if I didn't do this. And right here, you just want to make sure when you do the face, uh, you want to make sure you do a different layer for most part of the, like, say, eye, um, any of the eye features, any age marks, any um, slants or anything. Um, just make sure you pay close attention. Zoom in if you see any, like say if someone has a mole or something, color that in. Um, that way the game can properly get it. Like right here, I'm just making some extra age lines. I'm sorry, I kind of got a... Um, sinus problem right now so I'm not trying to sniff this whole time all right and you can see I, I brought down the opacity that way it doesn't look like it was painted on I'm adding to right there to the side of the nose there but pretty much uh, guys what it really boils down to is you gotta make sure it blends in you have to make sure that the picture is a good enough picture that it's stable and that um, it will be represented well in the game and you want to make sure that you get these details in because that's what's missing from a lot of people's creator wrestlers um, I've been creating since Smackdown versus Raw no I would be saying here comes the pain and I've been kinda of low-key I have been known on Smack Talks or Cause.WS as Executioner X um, 
but now I'm just I'm trying to help everybody else out because a lot of people still don't know how to do it and I love to create myself and my family members and stuff but um, before I get into that I'm just gonna go ahead and say this what I'm doing right here is I'm trying to add the age lines and a lot of times you it can be it could be like this problem here where it doesn't look right so I will manually add this into the game um, so yeah I went ahead and deleted that but obviously if you look right here you can tell that it's starting to look more like a texture and it's looking really in my opinion it's looking really good um, I'm still trying to figure out what I was doing right there obviously I'm trying to get the skin color I didn't realize it was still on the black color there obviously you can't really tell too much of a difference just adding a little bit of extra um, redness into that uh, that texture there so but yeah if you see this right here this is what it looks like right now and I feel like you know this is starting to look really good so I'm gonna go ahead and show the in-game picture of this and there probably will be a part two part three like I said likes and subscribe um, if you have any questions, comment, leave me a message, and could just please there like you go. And subscribe. Thanks, guys. Because I will definitely be coming out with more videos that will help. If anybody has any questions with how to make textures or what I do to make custom tattoos or whatever, um, definitely just make sure that you um, like, subscribe, and uh, download the templates that I have uh, free for you guys to download because at the end of the day we're all a community and we all want to see the best uh, the best creations out there so if you could just give those a download I think there's three or so and there I'm gonna add the apron also that you can download for free you can make your own apron for create a uh, create a show create an arena or whatever um, but yeah just go ahead and just give a like uh, a like as a subscription Ugh. And um, we'll see you at the end of this video. Thank you very much, guys.